making coconut rice. Coconut rice is a really delicious flavored jasmine rice that you can enjoy with Southeast Asian dishes like Thai dishes, Malaysian, Indonesian. If you've had coconut rice out at a restaurant and you wondered how to make it at home, we'll show you how to do it. It's super easy. So I'm gonna start with two cups of jasmine rice. Um, jasmine rice is a really, it's really our preferred white rice. We use it for basically any time we call for a white rice. And instead of cooking it with just water, we're gonna be cooking it with coconut milk, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of sugar. So the sugar kind of brings out the sweetness in the coconut, and then the salt actually just elevates all of those flavors. Making your own coconut rice at home actually saves you a lot of money. At the restaurant, a bowl, a little bowl of coconut rice can run you like $3.50 or $4. And you're gonna have, I mean, two cups of rice will triple in volume. You're gonna have six cups of delicious coconut rice. You can keep it in the fridge. You can meal prep so that you have a bunch of rice for later in the week. And it really is a lot more economical if you're trying to save money um, on takeout. If you don't wanna put in the work into making those Thai or Indonesian or Malaysian dishes, you could always order the takeout and then DIY the coconut rice and save a few bucks on that weeknight takeout order. Let's get started. So the first step for the stovetop method is to soak the rice. I'm just gonna wash it and rinse it first. Most rice is pretty clean these days, but this is actually just like a thing that my parents taught me and it's like, you should always wash your rice, so. This is also gonna remove some of the surface starch on the rice, which actually gives you more separated grains in your finished product. So I'm just gonna pour off that washing liquid. Now I'm just gonna soak it. So if you cover the rice by about an inch, that should be enough. And now just let it soak for 15 minutes. This is gonna make your rice cook a lot faster on the stove and more evenly. If you're one of those people that is frustrated by cooking rice on the stove because your rice is always burned, this is the step that's gonna prevent that. Pre-soaking the rice is going to make sure that it cooks quickly on the stove so that it doesn't have any time to burn. This is especially important with coconut rice because you're putting sugar in there and there's fat in the coconut milk. So you definitely wanna make sure that you soak it for 15 minutes. All right, so the rice has been soaking for 15 minutes. Um, as you can see, it's turned a little bit more opaque. The rice has absorbed a bunch of that liquid. So we actually will need less cooking liquid to cook the rice. You'll often see two to one ratios liquid to rice. In this case, we're gonna do a one to one ratio because the rice has already soaked and absorbed some of that liquid. So I'm just gonna drain this. Doesn't have to be perfect, just drain most of it off. Okay, now I'm going to add it to the pot. So here I have a medium pot. You're gonna to wanna to choose a pot that will accommodate all of the rice once it's cooked. Rice about triples in volume once cooked. So if you have two cups of raw rice, you're gonna end up with about six cups of cooked rice. So I'm gonna transfer it. Sorry, everyone, it's a little tedious, but my mom taught us not to waste rice, so I had to make sure every grain is in there. What did she used to say about the rice farmers? The rice farmers would like- We were in a village eating with rice farmers. And she said that if you don't eat the rice, they give you dirty looks. Right. I don't want any dirty looks from the rice farmers. So all the rice is in there, great. Now we're gonna measure out the liquid. So I'm gonna open the can of coconut milk. There's so many newfangled can openers out there, but this like 80s can opener or 90s can opener is just like the best. You don't ever need another one. Okay, so I'm gonna pour the coconut milk into the measuring cup. I mean, this is just the way I do it, honestly. Like I should probably just be like, oh, you need this much water, but this is the way I like to do it because you're sure that about how much liquid you're gonna put in. And if there's some like separation of like the liquid and fat in your coconut milk, that's nothing to worry about. Just, just mix it, it's fine. Creamy, okay, here we go. 
All right, so that is just under two cups. It's about two or one and three quarter cups. So I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of water just until it reaches two cups total. And that is it. Two cups of liquid. So now I'm going to mix this with the rice. So I wanna scrape all of it out, make sure that we're not missing any. And now I'm gonna add um, some seasoning ingredients. So that's just salt and sugar. I'm gonna add two teaspoons of sugar. This is gonna bring out the sweetness of the coconut. One. Two. And a teaspoon of salt. This is not really going to make the coconut rice that sweet with savory dishes even. It's just gonna give a really nice contrast. So here's the salt. And I'm just gonna mix it all up. And as you can see, it's super rich, super creamy. This rice is just gonna taste so good with like Thai basil chicken or like if you're making like beef rendang or something, it's gonna be really good. Okay, we're all mixed. So we're gonna put this on the stove, cover it, bring it to a boil, and then once boiling, we'll turn down the heat and simmer for 20 to 25 minutes. To the stove. Okay, so it's starting to bubble a bit. Okay, I would call that a boil. So I'm just gonna recover it, turn it down to low, 20, 25 minutes. Okay guys, so I just fluffed this. I opened it and fluffed it. It's been 25 minutes. And as you can see, there's a little bit of sort of unevenness in this cook. So there's some rice grains that are perfectly cooked and then there are some, not that many, but some that are slightly under. And the reason for that is that coconut milk cooks the rice very differently than water. And when you have like a very thick coconut milk like we had, which I feel like it can vary. I mean, I don't know what like the standards around coconut milk are, but that was a very particularly thick one. You can get a little bit of, of unevenness there. So, I mean, this looks pretty good. I mean, I'm probably nitpicking. Taste it. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> my God. Is there any that's undercooked? I mean, it's a nitpick. I'm addressing it because you might be like, oh my gosh, my rice is undercooked. If that happens, no big deal. If there's like some rice grains that are undercooked, all you have to do is grab a little bit of water. Like I'm talking like a couple tablespoons. I mean, it, a few mm -hmm. grains here or there are under. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go like this and I'm gonna recover it. And I'm just gonna like sort of put it on the lowest of the low heat. If you have a simmer burner, use that. And just let it sort of continue to steam for another few minutes, just to sort of like get those last few undercooked rice grains over the line. Okay, here's our coconut rice. I'll be honest with you, it doesn't look that different from regular rice. But if you guys could smell it, it's so fragrant and coconutty. And actually what I like to do, especially if you're having a dinner party or having people over, is toast some coconut until it's nice and golden and just serve it on top as a garnish. It makes it look really pretty and it tells people that there's coconut in it. Okay, so I'm gonna scoop some onto a plate. And today we actually filmed our Thai basil chicken, another old favorite from the site. So I will be enjoying this coconut rice with that. Let's bring some over. This is super exciting. I'm actually really excited to eat this. It smells, so it smells really good. The coconut rice complements this so well. So there we have it. Thai basil chicken, coconut rice. And you can see that these go really well together. I'm just gonna eat it because I haven't had lunch yet and I'm hungry. I don't know what you're talking about. This is so good. <laughs> Coconut rice, guys. If you're making Thai food or you're ordering Thai food and you just wanna save money on that $4 order of rice, DIY the coconut rice. It's so easy to make. It's not that much harder than just making plain rice. 
and it's really going to up your dinner. Mm. Hey everyone, today we're going to be making coconut rice. Now coconut rice is a really delicious flavored jasmine rice that you can enjoy with Southeast Asian dishes like Malaysian dishes, Thai dishes, Indonesian. So if you have had coconut rice out at a restaurant and you- Daddy, you're in the camera. Oh, I am? Yes. 